Herrera. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe, because if you like and subscribe, you would have liked this video and subscribe to this channel, and really, what more do you need? And if you are subscribed to this channel, please, uh, I'm working on some different kind of content for you guys, so don't forget to watch those videos when they come out, so that way I don't lose to uh, the algorithm. And today we're talking about the legendary Prada sunglass, the SPR510, perhaps the best men's sunglasses to come out of Prada. With its intelligent sleek design and smart use of material, this has become one of the best examples of what Prada can do. Honestly, these are really good. I kind of forgot how good they were. So let's talk about how good these glasses really are. So a quick overlook of the sunglasses themselves. This is a Wayfarer type frame with mixed materials of metal and acetate with uh, gradient polarized lenses. Some of the dimensions, it's a 58 millimeter lens with a 17 millimeter bridge. Hi. Now it's recording, stop. Stop what? <laughs> no, 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 come on. Turn it off. No. <laughs> You're in the video now. Uh-uh. Uh-huh. No. They've seen you. I know, but not without makeup. They've seen you without makeup. Is it the stop button? So what this means is it's actually a pretty big lens with a pretty big gap, but the shortness of the lens actually doesn't make it look too big. It doesn't look like an aviator, even though this is kind of the same width of what an aviator lens would be. What this means, since it's a 58 millimeter lens, it's actually a pretty big lens, especially for a Wayfarer. By the way, it gets around this, it's not a very tall lens, so it doesn't cover up a lot of my face this way, it just covers up a lot this way. So the proportion of the lenses are spot on. The width of the lens matches the tight of the lens quite well. So it doesn't look like it's out of proportion even though the lenses themselves are quite large. And that helps for a frame like this where it's sleek and black and minimal without trying to look like too matrixy. Because in my opinion, a matrix glass is something that is very wide this way but it's very short this way. So it looks like it's almost like goggles wrapping around you. And that's not what these do. These are very, Classy, subtle, uh, but still very smartly designed, I guess, is the, probably the best way I would like to put this. And one point of note in this particular design of this frame is its use of mixed materials. One thing I find very interesting in this frame is not only its design, but its uses of materials throughout the design itself. One interesting thing of note is that it's a Wayfarer design with a metal front fascia has a matte black acetate arm to it with the Metal Prada logo right there. So it's that wrinkle of design that I find very interesting to me. See, a lot of times I've noticed whenever there's a mixed material whenever it comes to a white pair type frame, it's a lot like this. The, uh, this is the Prusol calligraphers. If you're curious, uh, here's my video on it right here. But if you look at this, it's an acetate front fascia, then it has metal arms, where this is kind of the opposite. It's a metal front fascia with acetate arms. You see, techniques like this is usually a bit more common whenever it comes to aviators. As you can see in this Gucci frame here, the metal front fascia and then the acetate side arms, where this is the metal front fascia on a Wayfarer, and that's very interesting to me. And the reason why that's kind of interesting to me is you don't see a lot of metal being used with Wayfarers at all. And a big reason to that is that, you know, it's a thicker frame kind of going all around it. So you need to work with a lot more metal. Working with a lot more metal is a little bit harder than working with a lot or with big chunks of acid. Stuff like this that just kind of helps accentuate and show off why this frame stands out a lot more. It also nearly perfectly matches the mat of the metal to the mat of the acetate. See, as you transfer materials from uh, metal to the acetate, it's really hard to get uh, a matte finish that's going to match. And this one does very well. It's not an exact match, but the way it's matched up, it pairs really well together, especially whenever you look at the frame and you see you have the metal product bit right there to help act as a buffer zone between the metal front and then the acetate temple. And this also helps allow it to be very chic and cool, which helps the overall aesthetic and design of the frame, which, if you're not looking at it, look at it. It looks really, really good. To me, this thing just looks very sleek and modern without it trying to look futuristic or trying to look retro. It looks like it's of the time. It's really kind of the perfect glasses that I picture when I think of what would be the perfect frame that Prada could put out. And it's, it's really this one. 
And I'm not really trying to take shots at the other Prada's frame, but to me, nothing has really lived up to the expectations that this frame has. See, to me, a lot of the other Prada frames kind of uh, exist in that pretty good range, but this is truly transcendently great as far as sunglasses go. Its brilliant commitment to sleek minimalism allows it to make a statement without trying to yell it. It's cool, it's casual, but it's also very dressy. I wouldn't be out of place if I wanted to wear this with a suit or a black tuxedo, but honestly, I kind of really like it like this. Just a good t-shirt, like a nylon jacket. And some Prada Saffiano leather boots, but trust me, those are coming later. But this is a very minimal frame, and a lot of other times whenever I talk about a minimal frame, I mean, you know, there's not a whole lot of big, wow, look at this, but there's a lot of detail. That's not really on the case here. There's not a whole lot of detail. There's a couple that we'll get into in a moment, but the overall goal of this frame is to simply look chic. So let's take a brief gander into some of the small details that this frame actually does provide. Like I said, it's not really a whole lot. The main bit of detailing is just this Prada kind of detailing here. And this small detail actually stands out very well since the rest of the frame is matte black. This chrome bit right here, it's like a, uh, L marker, and if you look in closely, you see the Prada logo right there. That really sets itself off against the rest of the kind of matte black and dullness of the frame. That little bit of chrome really accentuates it, really kind of makes its presence known, again, without being too overt about it. And of course, any other smaller details that you would expect to notice, like it says Prada right here at the top of the lens, and then also says Prada right here on the inside of the nose pads. And this frame isn't trying to wow you with detail so much as it is trying to craft an extremely gorgeous looking frame and something I think it succeeds in very well. I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of hard for me to say uh, this frame just looks really good in so many different ways, but uh, this frame lo really looks good. Even though it's just kind of uh, minimal and there's not much going on, that kind of works in its strength. It's not really trying to be this loud, obnoxious frame. It's designed to kind of be an accessory of a very cool outfit. But where I think this frame really sets itself apart is in its softer lines. Uh, a lot of times Wayfarers tend to be very edgy by nature, and this is very edgy, both in kind of frame design and overall pushing the envelope type of way. But What's really interesting, and if you look through it, there's a lot of softer lines to it. Even on like lines you would think would be you know harder, more rigid. See up here, you have kind of a brow line, and kind of here, it's a little bit softer. But here, I think, is where it's most interesting. See, to me, I find something very interesting in the way that this arm tapers in and then out. Most frames do this, especially most acetate frames will have a graduate taper towards right here at the ear stock and then fan back out to behind the ear. But the way this one does it, it's so sleek, it's really kind of hard to put into words unless you're actually looking at it in person. The way it really kind of uh, fans out here at the edge in relation to where it kind of is right there behind the ear, it's just almost like a work of art. And I know it's a weird thing to say about a pair of sunglasses, but welcome to this channel. That's kind of how we dig into things. I mean, it's almost very evocative of kind of some of the other design language that you see in a lot of other Prada, Prada works, but you know, it's really kind of exemplified here in an ear stock, and it's crazy that they are able to do the, that on an ear stock. But one truly impressive mark about this frame is actually its comfort. It is just one of the most comfortable sunglasses ever. I mean, no qualifiers behind it. Not like, oh, the most comfortable Prada ever, the most comfortable exotic frame ever, the most comfortable fashion frame ever. It's just a very comfortable frame. And I think a lot of that is due in part because of its lightness. It's a very light frame. Due to its thin metal fascias and the arms, they kind of feel hollow, but not in a cheap way. It feels like a kind of a weight saving way. And that, coupled with the very light polycarbonate lens, just makes this a very easy to put on frame and kind of wear all day. But talking about the lenses, these are a gray polycarbonate gradient polarized lens. And they do a great job. They are polarized and they do reduce glare to a significant margin. And the uh, gray is actually a very neutral gray. It kind of brings everything down in a very natural way. I don't feel like I'm trying to look at gray. It's just a natural color being all being brought down without trying to kind of wash everything out. 
And the gradient is there and it's subtle enough. I don't know if you could really tell in the lighting in this room. Uh, the gradient line's about here, so it does clear off towards the bottom, but again, since it's a polarized lens, it doesn't go completely clear. It's uh, just a lighter haze towards the bottom. If I was to have one critique of the lens, I mean, it is a polarized lens. I would have liked to have seen an anti-reflectiveness uh, added to the lens, but, you know, it's not the end of the world. I just kind of wish that Prada or Luxottica or whomever would have really kind of uh, gone a little extra step to put an anti-reflective coating on these lenses, but, you know, all in all, it's nothing major. But moving on from the frame, let's talk about packaging because I always like to talk about packaging. How about yourself? The Prada sunglasses and the Prada sunglass cases are really, really cool in my opinion. If you look on the outside of the case, you can see it's this dark, uh, either like navy blue or dark purple frame and kind of this leather textured pattern on the box itself. If you've ever had like any other Prada product, it's very similar to that. And then right here in the silver, you see. Uh, the Prada logo right there on the center of the frame. There's nothing else really kind of distracting from you on the uh, rest of the frame, or rest of the case, or box rather. It's just the one simple Prada logo right there. And then as you open it up, you can see right here is the case. We're gonna get to that in a moment. But behind the case itself, of course, you have the cleaning cloth and the certificate of authenticity as well. If you look, kind of closely right here on the inside of the box itself you can see it has this Prada etching all throughout the inside of the box as well and that's that's another really kind of cool attention to detail. To do writing on the inside of the box itself I don't think I've seen a whole lot of other sunglass makers do uh, logoing or writing on the inside of the case itself. So kudos Prada you get a thumbs up. Let's move on to the case itself. If you look at it, it's this kind of weird looking clamshell. I don't think I've really seen any other sunglass uh, case that looks quite like this as far as design and performance goes. But looking on the outside of the box itself, you can tell that it is uh, a unique leather textured pattern. This textured pattern is actually called Prada Safiano Leather. It's one of the most durable leathers out on the market. I love this leather and uh, again, don't tell anyone, but I'm probably going to get some Prada boots in this leather very soon. Whenever I get those videos, my trusted viewers do know that you are probably going to get a review of it. But looking kind of closer on the case itself right there, you see the Prada logo uh, embossed in on the uh, Safiano leather. And then it's actually magnetized right here. So you just pop open the magnet right there and it opens there. You can see the soft felt of the inside of the case. And then you just pull out your glasses. And then of course, one more time, you have the Prada logo right there in silver. It's just magnetized. So there's nothing you really need to clip or snap or just kind of force together. It's just a simple magnet right there. So that's all my thoughts on the glasses for now. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Uh, have you spent time with these? Do you want a pair of Prada sunglasses? Do you just like hearing me talk about my own sunglasses? Please comment below and let me know. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it and uh, send it to someone else who you think might like it as well. And if you didn't like this video, go ahead and like it. I wouldn't know the difference. But thank you guys again so much for watching. If you like this video, you can click right here to subscribe or you can click right here to watch more. And uh, see you later.